This video shows you how to quickly and easily change your DNS server in Silk on your Fire TV stick or Fire TV Cube. If you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hold tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this video is going to show you how you can change the DNS server that you connect to in Silk, leaving the rest of the Fire Stick to connect to your default DNS server. Now, what is a DNS server? Before we start, a lot of people have said by changing their DNS server, it has really speeded up their browsing experience or apps on their device. It's even unblocked a lot of things because it might be that your internet provider's DNS server is blocking certain things. It might make unlock certain apps or unlock certain websites in this case. But in my experience, I've never found changing a DNS server to really speed up any kind of experience. Now, the DNS is basically, or the server's job, is to basically convert IP addresses into web addresses, so that, or the other way around, so that it knows when you type in a web address, it knows what IP address to go to, to the server. If that DNS server isn't working properly, or parts of that DNS server have been blocked by your internet provider. So say for instance, if your internet provider has blocked a certain website, they could possibly block that in the DNS. There are other ways they can block it, but a simple way they can block a certain website is by blocking the connection in the DNS. Now, when you type in something like, I don't know, for instance, www.google.co.uk, that actually the job of the DNS server is to translate www.google.co.uk into the website's server's IP address and takes you there. Saves you having to remember all these numbers. It's a bit like the contacts in your mobile phone, for instance, when you tap on a name in your mobile phone, it dials the number for you, saving you from having to type in that number from beginning to end. So the DNS server is a bit like the contacts in your phone. It just converts a name to a set of numbers to enable you to make that connection to the website. Anyway, enough waffle, let's get on with it. So if I go into Silk and then I go up to menu up the top there, and then if I go down and across to settings, middle button, and then we want to go down to privacy and security, middle button, and then go down to use secure DNS. Now you'll probably see like mine, it has got automatic beneath it. So with it highlighted, I can press the middle button on the remote control and I can go down and I can choose another provider. So highlight it, middle button, go down to the little arrow pointing downwards just over there on the right. So that's highlighted with a little circle around it, middle button, and there you go. So you've got options here. You can go for the Cloudflare server. You can go for the Google public DNS. You can go for clean browsing. So this is a family filter. So if you've got children, this should filter out any adult material. Now this is only going to do it in Silk, not going to filter out anything else in any other apps. And finally, you've got open DNS there, which again, is another DNS server, which is quite popular. But say if I didn't want to use any of those, say if I wanted to use a different server, say like AdGuard, I can go up to customized, okay, and then go down to get the cursor in provider URL, middle button to get the on-screen keyboard up there. And we need to then type in the web address for the AdGuard DNS. So the address for AdGuard is https colon forward slash forward slash DNS dot AdGuard dot com forward slash DNS hyphen query. If you need to pause this video, do so now to jot this down. If you want to use another DNS service and it's not in that list I just showed you, then you're going to need to find the DNS web address, not the IP address. It's got to be the web address. You'll need to go to the web website of the DNS provider and see if you can find it from there. Not all DNS services do publish these. So there you go. So I've typed in dns.adguard.com forward slash DNS hyphen query. So with the HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash at the front. So I'll just go down to next middle button 
and there it is in there. So let's just go back. So I'm just going to go back up to the arrow at the top left of the screen, press the middle button, and there we go. It just confirms, there you go, use secure DNS is on, and that is the website that it's using or the DNS service that it's using. So let's go back, just keep going back to the web page. And as you probably notice there, now I'm using the AdGuard DNS. It's not completely blocked the adverts out altogether, but the adverts are much more simplified adverts. They're not as animated and animation does tend to slow these things down. So whilst there is still adverts there, there's they're, they're very plain, very plain. So let's just go back and I'm just going to switch the uh, DNS, the AdGuard DNS off. So just go back to settings there, go down to privacy and security, go down to secure DNS. And that's it. I'm going to go back and select use your current service provider, go back, back again, back again, back again. And there we go. We're back at MSN's page and you'll see there you go a much larger advert come up on the screen. And I mean, earlier, when I can't went into MSN, as I say, I had an animated um, advert, which did seem to load, but it took forever to load. As you can see here, there you go. It took a while for that to load. But if I go back and change the DNS server, as I say, back to AdGuard DNS, let's just do that again. So choose another provider and put in the web address. So there we go. I've just put that in. Go to next middle button, go up to the top there, go to the back button, middle button, go back again, go back again and go back to the main site. There you go. Straight away. You saw there those bigger, larger adverts just disappeared to more simple ones. And the page seemed to load a lot, lot more quicker than what it did with the larger, more animated adverts. So as I say, this will only change the DNS in Silk. It will not change the DNS in any other apps on your Fire Stick. So this is quite handy if you've got, say, for instance, children using it. You can use the family filter DNS if you don't want them looking at adult websites. You can also choose a different DNS service if, for instance, you're finding browsing is very, very slow. So uh, let's just have a look. So you've got the clean browsing family filter that filters out any adult websites. You've got open DNS there. You've got the Google public DNS and you've got Cloudflare. Flare. If, like I say, if you're finding that certain websites are being blocked by your internet provider, this might be a way around them. And uh, if we use the clean browsing family filter website, then uh, we can we can select that and that should stop any adult based websites from coming up. I'm just going to try it out. I'm just going to try a, a popular adult website. It straight away. It says this site can't be reached. So it's actually blocked access to this particular adult website. So there you go. I hope you like this video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please help support this channel. Have a look down in the description below of this video. If you're in the market for a VPN, if you need a new Fire Stick or need Fire Stick accessories, then please consider using the links down below. Using those links really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time into researching and producing these videos for you. And don't forget, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not have a look around? I've got thousands of other videos right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.